If you think about the, the combining of reproductive health and rights with social justice, you, you develop a construct called reproductive justice. Reproductive justice started as as a analytical as a framework as a movement right but in 1994 several black women really actually coined the term and it really started off thinking about sex associated with reproduction right produces a pregnancy and so what are the rights of that person it is a human rights based theory and praxis that posits four very important things people have the right to create family and to create kin in the ways that they see fit what are the options available to you if you choose to pregnant and to birth, right? Birthing shouldn't really be totally in the hands of OBGYNs, and I say that as an OBGYN, right? So how do you think about the birth workforce and the birth support team? They have a right to prevent and or end pregnancy if that's something that they need to do for themselves and their families. What to do if you want to end the pregnancy and how do you do that with dignity and safety and respect? They have a right to parent with dignity without manipulation, coercion, or violence from any individual or from the state. People who currently have children, what are the um, supports and services and accommodations that the community and the government are accountable to our community to ensure that people can continue to, to parent their children the way they want to in the family composition that they choose. And they have a right to disassociate sex from reproduction, which I think is really important because then that affords us opportunities to have discussions around consent, healthy sexuality, pleasure. And RJ opens all of that up um, so that we really think about options and power and autonomy and not control, constraint, or coercion.